Hey guys, I'm doing a bit of a follow-up episode to my sniper and my scout uh, videos. And this was because uh, Valve made a bunch of changes in recent uh, times and I didn't address certain weapons that some people want to hear about and things like that. Uh, one of the things actually someone gave me an idea for is I said that the Boston Basher wasn't really good. The thing is you can kind of get a medic to, to basically uh, charge an uber on you with it and that was the suggestion I got. I think that's fine because I can kind of just go hey help me out here or not. Okay fine. Uh, that's one thing you could do but to me I think it's better suited for the soldiers because uh, that's their job not yours. Uh, your job is is to be a scout, basically. And also, I didn't really talk about the pistol a whole lot. The pistol's actually really quite good. And I just took a fuck ton of damage. Um, the pistol is actually an amazing mid-range weapon. Uh, it is probably, like, you cannot go wrong by using it. It's it's one of the best, uh, best weapons you could possibly even ask for. And that pyro's dead. Uh, and it's it's just probably you probably don't want to replace it honestly it's a safer bet just to go stock scout uh, ex with the exception of the atomizer which I think is one of the the basically the best uh, scout unlock because it's like uh, it saves you more than you know having that at your disposal is great that guy's dead so kind of like it's and it's utility it's 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 fantastic. And now, let's go, let's see if I can go get this guy. Because he's he's running away, so I'm just going to go kill him. Or maybe I'm not, because I think he just kind of went somewhere else. Okay, I, I guess I'm not going to, I'm not coming that way. Um, but yeah, I would highly recommend this, the, the, this bat, because it's like, the best bat ever. There you go. Man, I'm just pistoling everybody today. Uh, let me finish this cap up. Later. But uh, it also saves you from fall damage because if you get rocketed in the air, you can also uh, uh, you can jump and take the ten damage. Because sometimes you know it's better than getting hit by a rocket, and ten ten damage is not as big as uh, you would think. I know it's it's cool. It's it's a lot of fun. Uh, but, you know, uh, w with respect to the guillotine, or the skillotine, as uh, one of my friends Jalen calls it. And he's dead. <laughs> uh, the, sk with the, sk the skillotine is a pretty good weapon, too. So I'm, I'm just trying to get some, like, you can kind of, like, kind of spam pistol uh, people from far away. So I think it's got a lot of potential. And I'm dead. Okay, uh, so that's basically with that. Um... The shortstop actually got an upgrade. Um, by the way, this is like a like look at the upload date. So if they change it again, I'm not gonna make a fall video every time. Basically, um, you get a lot of bonus healing while deployed. That's from everything, and that's pretty that's pretty crazy. Uh, the bonus healing because that means that uh, medics will heal you faster, med packs will give you more health. And apparently, I wasn't using this correctly. I'm supposed to hold it down. And it sort of works better, actually, when you just hold it down. To me, though, it makes it a less accurate weapon. But I can see the definite improvement uh, with it. Uh, but I still wouldn't use it with anything like the pistol. And I actually wouldn't run it uh, either. Because I'm much more of a fan of uh, the, like things like the guillotine or the pistol. Oh god, they have a sentry up there. And I'm dead. I probably should have hugged the rocks a little better. Um, that's actually really cool. Um, the the pushback actually is huge, and it may not be a disadvantage because, you know, you may not want to be up to something, you know, and like if it if a pyro air blasts you away, well, hello, I'm 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 out of here, you know, thing, and like it makes it hard for a follow up rocket as well. So I'm gonna see if I can get like pushed back by something maybe. So I think it's actually, I think they've made a lot of positive changes in this update, to be honest. I think it's really cool. Um, uh, once again, still still running the this thing. Look at that, look at that pushback right there. And I didn't reload this. There we go, I got him. 
You killed my medic! Oh, my thank you. I feel kind of bad because the medic died, but I was a shortstop scout. Couldn't expect much from me. Um, still, atomizer. Fantastic weapon. And there, I can just kind of like triple jump up to here. <laughs> Look at that! And so instead of taking more fall damage, I just I opted to basically use that that last jump there. That's why I really like it. It's 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 actually really it's a unique idea. It really is. Um, so that's pretty much for it for the short stuff. I still wouldn't use it because I still find the damage to be kind of inconsistent. But I've kind of learned what you're supposed to do with it, which is just basically hold it down. Uh, not particularly where I like to play because I'm I'm more I like the beat shots of the uh, of the scatter gun. I've never played on CP Castle, so let's see what that is. Okay, I'm back. I'm, I'm, I'm bad water because I didn't have the map. Finding a good populated server these days is difficult. Anyways, that's enough of the short stop. I'm going to run another setup, which you may have seen me do before. Um, this is what I call the Ferrari Scout. Uh, I, I've, I've taken a real liking to this, actually, and I played it I, I played a bit differently. And something I've discovered more more recently. Um, so basically, you, 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 you deal with the... Uh, the you deal with this the speed, uh what the hell? That's that is the most awesome combat engineer I've ever seen. So uh you spend your time basically just trying to get your speed up. Uh, as you know with the baby fist blaster, that's this thing. Uh, you just do damage. You can do damage with anything, by the way. And you know, normally I'm not a huge like fan of the Sandman because I think the the 15 health uh, that you lose, it actually matters big time. Uh, but actually, the way you're supposed to play with the baby phase blaster that I didn't realize is that it's a mid-range weapon. Because uh, you're not supposed to jump around, and you're supposed to use the speed basically to get back to health or whatever. Like, you know how scouts work, you can get back to health and all that kind of crap. And you can ambush really effectively with that. Nice stuff. That's good. That's good stuff. And that's what you're supposed to do. And you basically just play this kind of harassment scout where you just get behind people really easily. Like, I can't jump right now. If I jump, this this whole boost thing resets. Um, but you don't want to play at close range. You want to play at... You want to, you want to play at medium range. Because this is a mo this is a weapon more for accuracy, like it's it's if you're accurate basically, uh, well more accurate. Sorry, that's that's what I what's, that's what I meant to say, and so you can kind of use the Sandman to basically. Uh... Oh, you got him! Nice, and you can just outrun fucking everything. I love it, and that's what Ferrari Scout does. And you're and especially with a quick fix medic, it is like the best thing that can possibly pocket you. Like, they will love you, the quick fix mechanic, because they go just as fast as you do. And, and it's it's actually a whole lot of fun uh, to, to play Ferrari Scout. The, the, the health uh, penalty, it, it sucks a little, but, you know. I, I'm hearing, oh, there's a spy. And he stabbed me in the face. Good stuff. That's okay. Um, Ferrari Scout, a lot of fun. It's, that's what I love to call it, because you just go so fucking fast with it. And it's actually a lot of fun. You just, as I said, play from mid-range. Uh, and since, you know, and as I said, since they're not going to use the Atomizer, I'm like, well, what's a good alternate weapon to put into there? And I'm like, hey, the Sandman works pretty well with that. And since you're getting the, the 15, uh, 15 uh, uh, health penalty, you know, I don't like getting one hit by rockets, but that will only happen from close range. And this way I don't have to worry about it at all. So, Ferrari Scout wins the day. So it doesn't, it doesn't matter if they're hitting you a little bit. Okay, let me see if I can get my, uh, my Sandman back. Oh. Uh, I can now just get the hell out of there. And that's why I love this. Now, I, I've, I've actually really taken a liking to the guillotine, and the guillotine versus the pistol 
I find they both have their ups and downs. The, the guillotine more is more of a stacking weapon, and I got body shot. You're gonna be more susceptible to things like that, but uh, I find the guillotine to be more of a, a, a stacking damage weapon and more of like difficult to, more risky to use rather than the pistol, but I still like it. It's, it's still a lot of fun. It's still a lot of fun to use. Uh, anyways, let's look for that play style. Uh, I don't think I have anything else to show. Um, I didn't really talk too much about like Mad Milk and, and shit like that. And Matt, actually, this is the winger. The winger is actually interesting. Let me let me show that off. So if you decide to use the winger, sorry um, about the milk. The milk I find not to be. Uh, you know, you get your health back, but I'd rather have an actual offensive secondary weapon because scatter gun doesn't have a lot of ammo, and so I don't really use that. But the winger gives you 15 more more of a jump boost, and if you combine that with the, the atomizer, which is like they're just like a pair made in heaven, uh, then you can get some really high jumps. So let's see. Like, I can just double jump right up to here, and all you have to do is bring it out. So, if you don't care much for your secondary weapons, like, I uh, that's that's interesting. I I like that. That's really cool. Just just by having it equipped. Yeah, there's a spy over there. Need a dispenser here. <laughs> oh, I wasn't gonna kill them. I was just kind of, I was hanging out. I don't know, it's it's interesting stuff. Uh, it, it makes the weapon that was actually shit, like, not so shit anymore. Which is kind of cool. Um, and Fan of War is also a solid one to take. I, I just wouldn't really take anything else, to be honest. Can to can, I don't really like having explosive, like, dying in one hit by explosives and all that kind of stuff. I don't know, I feel that the malaise are not that, it, not that valuable for the scout, at least. But anyways, um... Well, they, they can be, but in certain cases, but whatever. Okay, so for uh, for Sniper, they actually I never actually got a chance to show off the set uh, with the Sydney Sleeper, and, and that's okay because now it's completely gone, so it's okay. Um, they haven't really changed any... They changed the Cozy Camper, so you get like a 20% damage vulnerability rather than the slower movement speed or something, um, which is like... It's now even more trash. Good job. Razorback is still the Razorback. Um... Nothing else has really changed here, uh, but the one thing, the major change is actually the danger shield. Holy shit, the danger shield. 20% uh, explosive vulnerability and 15% uh, uh, what's I call it? 15% bullet uh, uh, protection. You cannot get snapshotted anymore. You can't, you cannot get snapshotted at all anymore. It's, it's actually pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> it's it's like, uh, it changes the dynamics of sniper versus sniper way more than you- Oh god. Anyways, I'm dead now. Oh, that guy had like a- the longest lasting fucking, uh, sa uh, stake thing or whatever. He's just playing for fun now. Um, man, you can't snapshot anymore. Uh, you, like that, that's basically the thing you saw me just going like that like I just uh, hit people right away if someone's wearing the shield You can't do that. They'll have like a, a Small health pool left. Uh, I, was, I was facing somebody. I had about 7 HP left um, It's ridiculous and it changes it so much. I Was actually really surprised that they that, that they did something so ballsy So this guy's not gonna be able to to headshot me uh, now he will But he died so it's okay so that's that's really cool. Um, I don't think it'll stay at all, to be honest. It might. Uh, it depends. Uh, I think I think there's gonna be a lot of people whining about the sniper versus sniper dynamic. Um, I guess we'll see. We'll see if it stays. But uh, as of now, I can't see much of a reason you should never like. You should always have it. There is no reason not to take it anymore. Uh, it does make you more vulnerable to explosions, granted, uh, which I just died to explosions, but generally though, um, Sniper is a Sniper, and against, uh, Scouts and things like that, I will take, I will take the, I will take the explosion vulnerability any day, because you know what it really does, actually? The 20% basically means that you're about 125 HP according to the way, uh, according to the way the, uh, uh, the, the explosions work. So it's kind of like you never had the shield at all. But against everything else, you have, you, you have way more, way more health with it. So, you know, it's, 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 it's a double-edged sword, yeah. 
But like, you know, when do you find yourself up against explosions except on like really choke pony maps like this one? <laughs> Not very often. And you know, I can I can dodge it. I can get I can get away from it. I can do whatever I want. No, that's that's really not the problem when it comes to me, so I saw someone. Uh here you are. So here I am doing the little stacking damage thing. And being not able to to hit these shots, but that's okay, I just hit it now. That's okay. I don't know, and you know, there's there's a bunch of other changes, but I don't know if uh, any of it necessarily applies. You no, know, I, I can just easily get away from this guy. There you go, he's dead now. It's not really a problem, we're kind of getting rolled here. <laughs> Did he just get, like, Goomba stomped or something? I like this guy. Oh, and I just got, I just heard, I heard him, I heard him decloak. I didn't, I didn't react to it. I heard him decloak and I didn't, that's one of the things though, I, I can recommend though, if you're playing a, uh, a uh, sniper, it's probably a good idea actually to, to wear, uh, headphones. He's somewhere around here. He took the ammo. What the hell? Oh. Aha! No kill for you. <laughs> I love this punching heavy. Um, I, I think I've just done... I think I'll go back to scout though, because uh, the sniper is not really being useful in this situation. At least from my perspective. Uh, maybe I'll do more... Um, I'll do more... Uh, Ferrari scout. But, you know, I've been having a lot of fun with the, the, guillotine, the skill team. I think it's one of actually the more fun things to, to come into this game. Because I've actually gotten pretty good at aiming it too. Uh, it's kind of like it's kind of like this whole soldier prediction thing. So I can kind of like roam around. You don't really want to meat shot anything. Oh, here we go. <laughs> there you go. I love this. I love this setup. I absolutely love it. Oh, I'm dead. And that's one of the, as I said, the, the one disadvantage is, yeah, uh, you're weaker, uh, and up close especially, you're gonna be weaker. But both of your weapons are based, your entire loaded is actually just, uh, like, great for you playing medium range, you know? That's, that's why I love it. But, you know, especially against snipers, you can't dodge as much, and so that's actually why I recommend on, like, an incline, you, you move around. Because that's kind of like jumping. It moves your head in, up and down, instead of just, uh, Instead of just, uh... Instead of just, uh, moving in one direction all the time. And... Let's leave this place. Gonna just top off my health, because that's really important. It's, it's, one of, it's one of my favorite builds, it definitely is. To play in this game. Hey, Medic. Hi. This, I don't even know what this guy's ping is at. Way too high. Alright. Well, he, he got my health enough. That's okay. Oh, I missed him that time. And as I said, you know, you can just kind of wait for it to come back. And it's really hard for them to hit you. <laughs> the skill team, man. You can't mess with the skill team, it is just way too much fun. Kinda wish I had the, uh... I kinda wish I had the, uh, what's I'm gonna call it? Um, the, the shortstop to show you how the air blast. It knocks you back. And it's funny because they can't extinguish your combo you anymore. The freaking card stop! Uh, Pyro's gonna be around. Oh, let's just uh, run back for a second, because that's my uh, my greatest strength is just to run away, and that was a scout. I heard I heard a cloak. Oh, 
Let's get ready to skill team. Damn it. Well, you know, I managed to hit him, so it's okay. I don't think we're gonna win this, to be honest, but you know. I'm glad I was able to show you this. I don't I don't think I have much else to show. And if they change it again, well, I can't really do much on that. Because they, they change stuff all the time. Oh. I guess I'm just gonna run after this guy. He's just running around. <laughs> got him! <laughs> yeah, I got him! <laughs> that was good stuff. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed and uh, I answered all of your questions. And that's pretty much it. So I'll see you later. Bye.